opening Google Translate, we will be able to take English text and translate it into Arabic. That is because that's what I've chosen. If I tab Arabic, there are a list of many other languages I could use, but Arabic is the example I want to use today, so we're going to leave it in Arabic. I can tap those arrows and it will switch from um, Arabic to English, but we're going to do English to Arabic. Then you'll notice that I can uh, take a picture. We can use the, the microphone or we can write. So to take a picture, we tap on the camera. It's going to turn the camera on at the back. And I have a word problem printed out in front of me. Uh, it's for grade two. I'm going to align the text and you'll notice that it is taking it and trying to translate it now. So as I align it, it's changing it there. Just need to get it just right. And then what I can do is tap the red camera button. It's going to scan it. And you'll notice now that there are blocks of information. So if I take my finger and slide it along that, those blocks, you'll see it's capturing the English text up at the top and it is translating it into Arabic. And then when I tap that blue arrow, it comes into the main page here. So I want to show you that what you can also do is if you tap the speaker under Arabic, it will speak to you in Arabic. Just pretty cool. المشكلة في كايس وهناك 15 أحمر و20 مكعبات مبكرة الزرقاء لع... So we have taken a picture and translated that. Another option you can do is to use the microphone and when you tap the microphone it brings you to a screen where you are able to speak and whatever you speak will show up in the bottom screen and it will uh, read that translation out loud. What is your name? ما اسمك? What is your favorite color? ما هو لونك المفضل؟ Another tool in Google Translate is the tool to be able to write or to use the keyboard. And that's the squiggle mark in the top right. So if we tap that, it will open up the next screen. And this is where then I can um, make marks on the bottom of the iPad with a pen. Um, and it should come up in English and then the Arabic below. So what is your name? It'll take a moment uh, to generate. It comes up at the top and again puts it there in Arabic. If I choose the blue arrow, it puts that text into the main page where again I could press the um, volume sound button and it would play it back for me. The other tool under writing though, if we go back to it, is that we can also turn on the keyboard. In the gray toolbar, you'll see that there's a keyboard there. And you're given an English keyboard and you could you could use that and I could type in the same statement I just did. Okay. But the other cool thing here is that I can at the top touch the arrows and have it switch back from Arabic, Arabic excuse me, to English. And I could tap my globe down in the bottom right of the keyboard. And what we'll see happening is that I have attached an Arabic keyboard. So essentially someone could type back in Arabic and it would translate it into English. Using the Arabic keyboard and uh, ensuring that your translation is from Arabic to English, you can uh, type in Arabic symbols and have the English translation appear. So right now I've typed in some symbols and it says she's reached. I'm not going to continue because I can't speak or write in Arabic and I have no idea really what I'm doing. <laughs> but trying to just show that you can turn on the keyboard. How you uh, attach the keyboard is you go into your settings and into general and underneath general is keyboard. Uh, you'll tap keyboards at the top and then look in your list if you need to add a new keyboard. You click on add new keyboard and under other keyboards you can scroll down um, to look there for a keyboard that you would need. So I already added Arabic which is why it's there at the top. If I clicked on Serbian I could click Serbian and it would be added to it as well. Then to uh, add that keyboard you tap the globe and we have it back to English. If I keep tapping it it'll go to the emoji, French, French Canadian, Arabic, 
and there's your, my Serbian that I just added. So that's how you uh, access the keyboard. And if we go back, this is now the home page. You'll notice that all of the translations, excuse me, the translations that we've been doing are down at the bottom. And if you click the home button, you go back to home and you can have a list of them. They are cached. You can favorite them. Um, you can also go into your settings and you can change some of your settings here as well for speech input and handwriting in your camera. Finally, an excellent support resource is the Google Translate support site. There you will find step-by-step -step written instructions for each of the Google Translation features. Happy translating!